Before I get into this video about how my past 24 hours has been, we're gonna make we made some G fuel, as you guys can see. But man, it's been a 24 hours. Like I just okay. If you live in New Jersey, okay, and you go to the any any of the major Division three colleges up here, one of them being, I'm not even going to say my college, but it's a, it's a commuter school. Okay. So yesterday I had, I had one class, one, one, that's not even a class. It's ma it's a math class and math, math classes at this college. It's two days of lab in one day of a focus group. So two days you're sitting, you're literally just sitting in a computer lab, working on your homework, your homework, your classwork, whatever the hell it is. Like, bro, I don't even, uh, I don't even, I can't even fathom like, how I'm looking fucking swole by the way all right so yesterday I get to school okay now at my school since my school is a commuter school so about 90% of the people who go to my school are commuters there's a very small percentage of people who dorm um so the parking lots at school, there's not enough. We have four or five, we have six on-campus places to park. Okay, we have two parking garages, one for free, one you have to pay. Two parking lots at the very, like, end of the dorms, and then two by the parking garage, right? And then one by a transit lot to take the train into the city, or somewhere else that's not Montclair, okay? which is a town that I live by. So, okay. All the parking all all the parking places were full, right? So then we have two places off campus to park. Now, one of them is literally right off of a highway. So you get off the highway, it's right there, you just pull and you park your car. And then you have to wait like 15 20 minutes for a shuttle. I don't have time. I'm a content creator. Time is of the essence for me. I really don't have time to be waiting and fucking around and digging around whatever. Okay. So then I find a place to park yesterday, man, and I was like, all right, like, okay, I got this, I got this, it, it, like, it was 11.30, so now with math, we have to check in on this website, and the last year, the check-in time was 10 minutes, now it's 5, so I walked in a minute after check-in ended, and I was just like, but I could check out, I could check out of the class for whatever reason at the end of class, right, okay, so then on top of that, now, this is where things get, like, stupid, so... If you live in New Jersey, you obviously know no one in this state knows how to drive. Every No one knows how to drive. Everyone's in a rush. No one uses their blinker. And then when a light just turns green, people lay on the horn. That's just how it is, just because it's New Jersey, okay? So now, yesterday, I parked my car, and you know, I'm just walking along. And now by the parking garage, there's crosswalks, obviously, right? So... So like, here's the sidewalk I'm walking on. Here's a car, here's a stop sign. So the car is at, there's a car at the stop sign. I'm walking now. I'm in the crosswalk. Now in New Jersey, pedestrians have the right of way in the crosswalk. So I'm in the crosswalk, I'm walking, and then I see this person's car slowly pulling into the crosswalk. And I'm just like, bro, like, do you not see that I'm walking? So I had to literally sidestep around the front end of this person's car, okay? And that was yesterday. Yesterday was, oh my God. All right, so now today, all right, so I've been waking up really early every day, going to the gym, doing fast and cardio and abs, which is why I'm 190 pounds, as you guys can see, and I'm still pretty well conditioned at this point. So I get home from the gym about, I want to say 8.15, 8.20, make my breakfast, I showered, prepped my food, um, even though it was basically prepped, I just needed to reheat it and then put it in like a thermos to keep it warm, whatever. So then I had class at 10 o'clock. Now... Last time I remembered having class on a Tuesday morning at this school, parking does not end up being filled until about 9.30, 9.45 from what I remember. I gotta shake this because I'm getting stressed out just thinking about it. But boy was I fucking wrong. So I get to school at 9.30. Now, again, this is a commuter school, so about 95%, I don't want to say 95%, maybe about 90% of the people there 
come from a lot of towns, like around here, around this general area of New Jersey. Um, so like where I live, Wayne, a whole, a whole bunch of towns that surround this school, right? Okay, okay, all right. So I get there and there's no parking. None. Not, nada. Not, niente. None at all. So I got to school, I think I got there at 9.30. Now normally I would get there at 9.30, there'd be a handful of spots left last year. Okay, but that was not the case today. That was not the case today. I had class at 10 a.m. So I had already been up two and a half, three hours. I was awake, had breakfast in my stomach. I had the strawberry, strawberry banana G Fuel with my breakfast, cup of egg whites, three eggs, quarter cup of part skim cheese, oatmeal, cup of blueberries. You know the vibe. Carbs, fats, proteins, because we're bulking, we're looking great, we're feeling good. So then I get to school now. No parking. Of the four lots that I went through to find parking, guys, there was none. None at all. So I drove around for just about 45 minutes. I left, yeah, I got to school at 9.30, and I left school at about 10.15, okay? Now, the class I had today, we get two unexcused absences were allowed and I had to burn one today which is absolutely awful because it's a professional development course and it's an easy A because I took business for three years in high school and everything I learned in my business classes was basically all professional development and I didn't find out until my senior year when it was too late to apply the credits that I took in those cla in that class for college for professional development so now okay so now I drove around for 40 minutes burned a whole bunch of gas Literally no park, no parking at all. I just, I was I baffled at the fact that there was no parking. Um, so let's see what, so then what happened? So then I came home, all right, I came home and I told my mom, I was like, yo, mom, there was no parking. Because anytime I'm in this class, my mom gives me a hard time as, as she should. So then I ate my second meal. Then I went back to school, right? This is then, and again, this is the fun part. So I left my house at 1030. Okay, I got to school at 1040. Because it's a 10 minute drive, it's right up the highway. One day I, I might make a vlog or so. Right up the fucking highway. Again, I drove through the lots, still no parking. So you know what I did? I called my friend. I was like, I saw him at driving, I was like, dude, you're not gonna find any parking in the parking garage. So then I'm on the phone with him for like maybe 15, 20 minutes. He ends up doing the same thing I did, he just drove through the lots and then I was in one of the lots I normally park in to maybe wait for a spot rather than burn gas, okay? So I maybe sat in this lot for about 15, 20 minutes. And then I was like, all right, dude, this is, I'm, I'm wasting time because it was already, it was already like 11, 15, 11, 20. So then I went to one of the other on-campus parking lots. Now, mind you, this lot is also like one half, I learned this my freshman year, one half, like this side, this side is students, this side is faculty. My freshman year, I ended up parking on like the right side, which is faculty, and I ended up getting a warning uh, from the parking officers there, and they, I'm, I, don't, I don't even want to get into that, but like, if, okay, so then, all right, so wait, back up, so then I go to this lot, okay, I pull into the left, because that's the student parking, like I mentioned, and then there are people going to their cars, I'm like, yo, there are spots here, but I know you just got one, whatever, because I'm on the phone with my boy, and then... These people get in their car and like five, ten minutes pass. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what are they doing? So at this point, it's already 1130. Okay, my class started. It was my focus group for math today. And these people, they like, I moved my car up. I had my blinker on because that's like the universal signal at this school to let, pe to let people know you're waiting for a parking spot. Again, getting stressed. Gotta shake it. Okay, so then... So then these people, they leave. I park my car. And now mind you, the walk up to campus for me is probably about a quarter of a mile long, depending on where I park. So that means in the winter, it's brick as fuck. It's cold, it's windy, it's, it's awful. No matter if I wear my North Face, a sweatshirt, a t-shirt, and a tank top, or if I wear my North Face, a beanie, my sweatshirt, and just a t-shirt, sweatpants and shorts underneath my sweatpants, keep in mind to stay extra warm, wear layers, 
or in like when it's warmer it's it's nice when it's warm but like when the sun is beating down on you and you're walking and you have your backpack on and you're just dripping it's it's bad especially with humidity oh god forgot about it so then wait it gets better gotta gotta put the beanie on right for this so then i walk into class okay i walk into class now you know, I just walk in casually because they just they just don't care if you're late for focus group. Um, and then I go through the class, and that was it. I came home, and then I had one, I thought I had one more class for the day, and I didn't, which was pretty sick because I ended up going back to school, and the professor was like, oh, this is section 02 or something like that. And then uh, I was like, oh, okay. And she's like, I didn't, if you, I didn't call your name then you can go because this isn't your section. So me and another kid, we were like, oh, okay, we don't start. So this class I have to take, I don't start until October. But I want to make one thing very clear. If you're a college student going to a commuter school and there's no parking, just, I, like, like I, dude, I, I can't just go home if there's no parking. If you're late for class, literally the best thing I can tell you is just leave. It's not worth wasting the gas or your mental health and just getting stressed out over the fact that there's no parking because the school, the school has X amount of parking lots, but there's more pa parking for faculty than there is students. Like, I don't know, it just doesn't make sense. But how in the, I was going to say fuck, but how in the hell are you a commuter school and not have enough parking for your students, man? Like, pff, fucking mind blowing. I'm baffled. I just, I can't, like... This is one of the things about school that stresses me out, man. It's just like going to a commuter school, like no matter what time I leave, they want us to get there at like 7 a.m. for our classes. Like I could get there at like 9, 9, 9.30 for a class I don't have until 11.30, but just because there's literally no parking. At my freshman orientation, they were like, you have to get here two hours before your class starts. And I was like, you gotta be fucking kidding. So on the first day of my freshman year, that's exactly what I did. My first class was at 1.00. I got to school at about 10:30, 11 o'clock, but like, if you if you were a commuter school, why is there not enough parking? Like the fact that I'm at I'm at 12 minutes and 43 seconds right now blows my mind. But yeah, if you go to a commuter school, man, and there's literally no parking, and you do not have the time to waste to park off campus, find a ride, ask your mom or your dad to drive you. <laughs> fucking. Oh, today and yesterday sucked. Almost getting hit by a car. Missing a class. That's an easy A, man. I just... I need the Modern Warfare Beta to start today. Like, I have my, my PlayStation. Should It should be installed on my PlayStation right now. But I just need this Beta to start. I have class tomorrow night. And then two classes Thursday, back to back. And then I have a class Friday morning. And I'm going to the G Fuel pop-up Thursday. And I'm hyped for that. So anyway, if you guys have enjoyed this rant on New Jersey Commuter Colleges... Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, even if you're a college student yourself, let me know. Let me know what your struggles are. Maybe we can find things to struggle on together. Um, but as always, it's been your boy Ryan Deviant. I will probably see you guys tomorrow in maybe a Modern Warfare beta gameplay if they decide to drop it today. Fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, guys, that'll do it. Pro Friday, I'm probably going to upload a vlog from the G Fuel pop-up. And if this is an RSVP event, so it's not going to be like the phase pop up and get shut down, fingers crossed. Um, so I'll probably be playing uh, Super Smash Brothers against a whole bunch, like a bunch of people. They're having the, like, this mini tournament thing. And even if I get eliminated, man, I'm just going for the experience. Um, and hopefully I can be phase temper, uh, censor, Nate Hill, and T-Pain, because T-Pain is going to be there. So yeah, leave a like for... The bitching of New Jersey commuter schools, like for more vlogs and little rage taj things, rants, whatever. Um, as always, it's been your boy Ryan Deviant, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.